Ow! The shoe's heavy! Ow! Hi guys, my name is Josh and welcome back to Just Ginger Josh. I know that the background is a bit different, including the dog which I don't normally have here. And that is just because I'm just visiting my parents' house on a little bit of holiday. But I made sure to still bring some shoes with so that I could get some content up for you guys. The Nike Air Max 97 in the white colorway. So this is the Nike Air Max 97 in the snakeskin pattern or also known as the premium pack. Now the reason for this is the normal white pair has just got the normal patent leather around this area and these have uh, snake skin leather. Although it's not actual snake skin, it's just a snake skin print. Now for those of you guys who don't know about the Air Max 97, the name comes from the year. So they came out in 1997 and that's all you basically need to know. The air unit does run throughout the majority of the shoe, it does end about here. If you guys are not sure about that. That supposedly makes it one of Air Max's more comfortable pair of shoes. Even though the Air Max unit isn't the latest technology, it's still used today. Obviously, as you guys can see, this new Air Max is releasing continuously. Materials. The materials of this shoe is very interesting and is one of the things that I like the most about the shoe. You get this leather, which is basically the mud guard, and that runs all the way around the shoe. And that is in the snakeskin pattern. It isn't actual snakeskin, but it is that pattern. Now, I'm not the massive fan of snakeskin, but I really like it on this shoe because I really think it just adds an extra pop that just makes it a bit different, adds some texture to the shoe. We also have these two leather overlays above that. And then above those two leather overlays, we have nylon. And then above that, we have the 3M with more nylon and more 3M. Then we have the nylon tongue with another hint of 3M and we have a little Nike logo above here in a leather patch. We also have this little white pull tab at the back of the shoe. The tongue is padded which is a very good feature and I'll get into that later. The shoelaces come in this cream colour and I really like that because I think it separates a bit from the upper, it doesn't just stand in with the rest of the white. Then in the interior and the exterior of the shoe we have this sort of plastic overlay as you guys can hear that and that is just a very nice feature. It just adds more depth to the shoe. I really like the different textures and materials that they have used in the upper of the shoe. Then one of the biggest features of the shoe, or what the shoe is most well known for, is this Air Max 97 midsole or air unit. Then your insole is nothing too special, it's just your standard insole. If you guys haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I really do put a lot of effort into these videos behind the scenes, a lot that you don't see. So it really would mean a lot to me if you just smash that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Sizing. Now sizing for me, they do fit me true to size and I would recommend going true to size if you have normal feet. If you have wider feet, maybe go half size up. But like I say, if you're not sure, always try and fit the shoe on in store. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So true to size is a very good one for me because the length is also a very nice length comfort. Now comfort for this is very dependent on person to person, but I did have a debate with my friend Josh Dunn, his Instagram link will be down below, and he was just saying that out of the Air Maxes, they are one of Nike's more comfortable shoes. Now me personally, I don't have a massive Air Max collection, so if you're asking me about comfort and Air Maxes, I'm not the person to go to, but if I compare it to the other shoes that I own, like my Pumas, New Balance, and Adidas, I think they're fairly comfortable, nothing too amazing, nothing to write home about. I do own many shoes more comfortable than these. I don't think the midsole makes too much of a difference for comfort, but like I say guys, this is just my opinion, I'm not hating on Nike. If these are your most comfortable pair of shoes and that's great, they're just not mine. The other feature that adds to comfort is this insole. Now as you guys can see, it has a little bit of an arch here, so nothing too major, but for me who does have flat feet, it does add to a bit more comfort for me personally. And the in and the insole does add to more comfort than your average pair of insoles. Durability. Now durability is a bit of an interesting one. It will differ from person to person. For me personally, they have held up fairly well. They're not a brand new pair of shoes, but I do know that a massive concern for many people that wear these shoes is the air bubble bursting. 
Now, I've never experienced an air bubble bursting on a pair of shoes that I've owned personally, but I do know one of my friends at least that he burst his air bubble. He was just walking and they just burst. And that can happen. Now, it doesn't mean that every Nike Air Max you get is going to burst, but it's not impossible. It has happened in the past and it will happen in the future. It's just one of those things. Sometimes they manufacture them and there can be a weak point and that can burst. It happens. I do think the air bubble is more durable than what people think it is, to be honest. Another factor with durability, and it's a big gripe for me personally with Nike, but I have noticed that over the years I haven't gotten many Nikes. And I honestly think that for me personally, when I do get a pair of shoes, the quality makes a massive difference for when I am looking to buy. And I have noticed with many Nikes, not just these, but many Nikes, their quality control is really not great. Especially for a pair of shoes like this that you are spending 3,000 Rand for. You're not expecting to see glue marks as you guys can see here all around the sole. Especially as this is supposed to be a premium shoe and you have glue marks on the shoe. So for me personally that is something which really annoys me. I know a lot of people wouldn't care but if you are spending a lot of money on a shoe and you get glue marks on it I would not be happy. And it's not because the shoes are fake it's just because that is what Nike's quality control is like. So this is my favorite colorway of the Nike MX 97s. Let me know down below what yours is. I know that this is mine, but they're not everyone's. And that's that. I really do like the shoe. My only gripe is that the quality control isn't the best, especially at the price point. I am not happy with the glue marks. Thanks for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and Goodness gracious, this dog is upset with me. I think that's a sign for me to finish up. So thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. Have a good one. Cheers. Oops.